let us complete Ansible 1. Click on it. Here is the PDF. It has 6 steps and it will take around half an hour. Let's go to step 1. In step 1, we have to load the Ansible image. It is telling us that in the Docker challenge, we set up the Docker extension and connect it to a basic Ubuntu container. So we can now start working with Ansible by launching docker run it ibm z explore slash ansible zxp 202108 here is our vs code here we have to run the command run it ibm z explore slash ansible then colon zxp 202108 then press enter So that's it the image is now downloaded and you can go to docker and you will see that the image is now running it started 24 seconds ago this is the older image i have exited it this is the new one which is running now what we have to do is we have to right click on this image and then give attached to visual studio code so go to the docker icon click on it here is the ibm z explorer right click and attach visual studio code and you will see a new visual studio code window is now open maximize it in step 3 it is asking us to open root so here let's give open folder give here root then give ok and these are all the files that are available submit job yml run command yml ping yml and all these files are available step 3 is also telling us about the information of each of these files in step 4 it is asking us to go to zxp.yml file so go to group variables here you can find zxp.yml click on it all the values are already there we just have to give username and password so let's give here username my username and then i will give my password then give control s to save now in step 5 we have to open a terminal and enter this command so go to terminal new terminal and then i have to enter command ansible playbook ansible playbook ping.yml then press the enter key and that's it the command ran successfully ok is 2 that means 2 of the processes were ok and rest everything is 0 fail is 0 skip is 0 ignored is 0 that means this command ran successfully now in this step 6 we have to mark this challenge complete by just submitting check aans1 in public jcl so let's go to this jcl go to the other vs code go go to zowe icon go to data sets here you can see public jcl go to check aa and s1 then right click submit job job submitted 9736 here is 9736 condition code 0 so let's go to the website go down click on challenge complete congratulations you have completed this challenge great job then let's close all this and refresh this page so you can see ansible 2 is now available so let us now complete ansible 2 if you like my videos then you can support me by buying my mainframe course after buying this course you will get 19 hours of mainframe training this course will teach you COBOL, JCL, vSAM, TSO, ISPF, Unix System Services and CICS. You can watch the free preview before buying my course. Make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description. Thank you.